Good morning, everybody. How are you? Well, I can't hear you because this is a one-way conversation on my phone recording this video. But hey, I wanted to do a video today. Um, as you guys know, like Facebook has Facebook memories. It brings up some posts of uh, the past. The other day, um, I had a memory come up that I posted. I said, you cannot um, claim to honor God while you dishonor those created in his image. And that was from years ago, years ago. And, uh, you know, a, a lot of times, especially um, over the last year or so, you'll see posts uh, from people and posts from churches and denominations uh, jumping on the bandwagon and and, um, and even, you know, myself up until recently, until what the Lord was showing me, and I'll, and I'll share that with you. Um, you see like posts and then hashtag Imago Day, Imago Day, image of God, right? Image of God, we are made in the image of God. So we say that so many times as, whoa, 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 we can't be, uh, we can't pick on that guy because he's made in the image of God. So what does that even mean? What does that mean? Image of God. Imago Dei. Well, I was at the beach yesterday. And um, I don't know uh, where we're going to be. Uh, I'm going to be speaking Friday. And my friends Adam and Jen uh, are going to be doing some music. And... Um, I was just down there, sitting there, and I'm just looking around and just getting, um, I was just getting a little discouraged. I was like, Lord, like, what, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? And the Lord led me as I was uh, coming home. The Lord put into my mind uh, the image of the garden. That's weird. I know which led me to Genesis, the creation, the beginning of creation. I won't go into what he was showing me, but there were a few things that stuck out to me. And I think about this, and uh, I just really want all of you to think about this, especially if you're a church um, who has now, you know, um, used this Omega Day um, to, to talk about social justice, to, or social injustice, or racism, and all this. It may go day, it may go day, and you're quoting partial scripture. What I mean by that is this. This is the first thing that came to me as I was listening to the first several chapters, first three actually, few, not several. A couple was two, few is three or more, three or so, several would be more, um, if to, it, to be using that properly. But anyhow, let me just read uh, the scripture that stuck out. Genesis 1, chapter 26. Then God said, Let us make mankind in our image, according to our likeness. Oh. And let them rule over the fish of the sea, the birds of the sky, and over the livestock, and over all the earth. And over every crawling thing that crawls on the earth. So here, this is, this is the one I was going at, actually, 26, 27. Genesis chapter 1, verse 27. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. You know, when that came up to me, I was like, wait, what? Reverse, go back. God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. And what came to me was how these, how churches and other people are like, Imago D, that's it. Black and white, baby. Black and white. Can't be picking on anybody else because we're all in the image of God, but we stop short at saying male or female. And I was like, Lord, why is that? Why, why don't we complete the scripture? See, when Jesus was tempted in the wilderness, 
Satan would quote little bits and pieces of scripture to be deceitful. See, if, if you really want to use the scripture of being created in God's image, we have to, we have to, we have to, we must complete that and say male and female. See, I know that doesn't sound politically correct, and for the amount of people you're trying to draw in by getting on social justice or social whatever and trying to appease certain people, we leave out male and female because we don't want to upset the scale of justice. We want to look like we're doing the right thing for society. But in the meantime, you're really um, disregarding God's word and using it, partial scripture. We're using that really as deception and for the most part, twisting scripture like Satan does. We cannot use that. This is what that's the Lord was like, listen, don't say, oh, he's in the image. Got to love him. Guy who just killed six people over there, cut their heads off in the image, baby. Can't got because he's yellow. He's a yellow man. He's in the image of God. And then when the transgender people or all these other people come into your uh, into your uh, church, you just say love is love. We got to love them. No, no. Let's say this again. God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him male and female. He created them. Don't go, don't go on the image of God if you're not going to go all the way. Which leads me to this. What is the image of God? What does God mean by the image of God? Well, let me tell you. Genesis chapter 3, the fall of mankind, says... It's chapter 3, verse 22. Then the Lord God said, Behold, the man has become like one of us, knowing good and evil. And now he might reach out his hand and take the fruit from the tree of life and eat and live forevermore. Therefore the Lord God sent him out of the Garden of Eden to cultivate the ground from which he was taken. See, the image of God... While it is a good thing, it's also a bad thing. See, the bad thing, he says, Behold, the man has become like one of us, knowing good and evil. Like one of us. See, God was the one who knew good and evil. Yeah. See, I, I, don't pick on Hitler. Don't pick on him that he killed all those people. Because he was in the image of God. Right? Or for that matter, the guy who went in and shot up all those people in the school. All that, that guy that went in there and killed all those Amish kids and stuff. Ah, how dare you say he's a bad man. He's created in the image of God. Or the drug dealer. Or any of those people. Imago D. See, you're using things out of context. The image of God, while it's a great thing, the image of God is meant to be knowing good and evil. And of course, in the physical, right, Jesus was a man. Jesus is a man. But other than that, that's about it. God, it says he, he loved Jacob, but hated Esau. Whoa, 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 God, you can't hate Esau. He's in your image. Judas Iscariot. Jesus said for him, it would be better that he was never born. Whoa, can't say that, Jesus. He was created in the image of God. See, we got to watch what we're saying. We got to watch what we're doing. Just because some demonic person from outside uh, the body of Christ, some unregenerated, unborn-again uh, person took a thing of scripture... God loves everyone. We're made in his image. You can't say that. Can't do that. Oh, you're right. We can't. Oh, we can't do that because it's the image of God. Let's preach on that for a while. Let's do this for a while. Well, if you're going to preach on it, preach it right. Yeah, male and female. Wait, 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 wait. What about me? They. It. In the image of God. No. Male and female. 
What? Knowing good and evil. See, that's the problem when we jump on the world's bandwagon, when we take the bait of Satan, when he tries to lure us out, especially with Scripture. Yeah. So the guy who, um, you know, does something evil to your family, if you're one of these people who are, qu are quoting the image of God stuff, image of God, yep, yeah, yeah. The guy that robbed your house, he's in the image of God. I better not call the cops. Don't want to do anything. See, what I'm trying to prove a point here is to use that as an argument that everything is okay. You might as well throw the rest of the Bible out. See, it's a, it's a satanic trap to just throw that out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, can't do it. We need to reel her in. The full counsel of the Word of God, the full counsel of God, we need to speak the truth. We need to go uh, at these things, whatever it is. The situ we, we really don't even need to go at these things. To be honest with you, our, our job is not the church's job. The church's job, our job as the body of Christ, the real body of Christ, capital C Church, is not to respond to everything that happens because God is not a responder. Our job is just to preach the truth, to bring the gospel, to be rock steady on the truth, to be standing on the foundation of Christ, preach Christ and Him crucified. We need to quit trying to be the in hipster people, non-offensive people. The gospel is offensive. So to not be offensive, we need to not preach the gospel. And to not preach the gospel disqualifies you as body of Christ because that's our job. Imago D. Image of God. Know what it means before you use it and stop using it for people as an excuse to do evil. Anyhow, that's my story. That's my bio, that's my Bible teaching from this morning and a little bit of uh, a little bit of wisdom there. So, read that, read Genesis, first couple chapters. Let me know what you think. Feel free to message me. I would love uh, to hear what, what you're hearing and hash some things out. All right, guys, be blessed. I got stuff to do. That's my video for the day. Image of God.